In this experiment, we will be looking at a method for preventing the rusting of a metal by utilizing the electrons of another metal. Rust on an iron nail, for example, forms when oxygen grabs electrons from iron to form iron oxide. We can slow that reaction down by providing the oxygen with additional electrons from another source, in this case, magnesium, which is a much more reactive metal and easily loses its electrons. Magnesium then becomes a sacrificial metal. It loses its electrons in preference to iron, preventing iron from losing its electrons and becoming oxidized. For this experiment, you will need sodium chloride, potassium hexacyanoferrate, phenyl red, two iron nails, a magnesium strip, copper wire, and a petri dish. We will first make a solution of sodium chloride, common table salt. This is because rusting occurs at a much faster rate in salt water. We then add potassium hexacyanoferrate and phenyl red to the solution. This is so that we can see the rusting process more clearly. These compounds will detect the rust and form brightly colored compounds as part of the rusting process, forming blue algae-like growths. We next connect an iron nail and a magnesium strip with a copper wire, creating a copper arc. The copper wire acts as a bridge through which the electrons being donated by the magnesium can travel to the iron nail. It becomes a galvanic cell, which in magnesium acts as the anode and the iron nail acts as the cathode. We then place the iron magnesium copper arc on the left side of the petri dish and just an iron nail on the right. The iron nail on the right will act as a control experiment, 
that will show what will happen if the iron is just a rust without any chemical intervention. We then add the salt and hexacyanoferrate solution to the petri dish until it's completely submerged to both nails. After just a few minutes, you can already see rusting taking place on the nail to the right, with blue algae-like rust showing slowly growing out of the nail. However, very little rusting seems to be taking place on the nail to the left. Ten minutes later, the nail on the right is almost completely surrounded by the blue rust, while there is hardly any blue participate seen on the nail to the left. The electrons being donated by the magnesium strip to the iron nail are clearly preventing the rusting process. So what would happen if we stop the flow of electrons from the magnesium strip to the iron nail? To see what happens, we snipped the copper wire, breaking the connection between the magnesium strip and iron nail. After a while, you'll see that the blue rust starts growing from the nail to the left. With protection from the magnesium strip gone, the nail now rusts normally. The process of using a more reactive metal lose their electrons in preference to another metal is known as sacrificial protection. Then the magnesium sacrifices its electrons to protect the iron from losing its electrons and becoming oxidized. Thank you for watching.